What's going on YouTube? You Baker Man coming at you today. Got a little video to teach you guys about some ammo can etiquette. Stay tuned to find out how to take care of your ammo can and keep it range ready. These boots are made for walking and that's just what they'll do. One of these days these boots are gonna walk all over you. Okay, so I'm headed over to Lowe's this afternoon. I'm gonna get a few items to make this project possible. Then I'm headed over to my dad's house and he's gonna help me out a little bit. Have you ever gotten an ammo can from someone that was just all beat up and trashed? Well, a lot of times those ammo cans are rusted out, beat up, tore up, don't wanna open and close correctly, and the seal's all trashed. Well, today I've got a couple of ammo cans that are just like that. And I'm gonna teach you how to take those cans, strip them down, clean them up, repaint them, lube up the hinges and the seals, and I promise you that ammo can will last you forever. Now disclaimer, this is not for people who are using these for long-term storage. There's already plenty of videos on YouTube that'll teach you how to set up ammo cans for long-term storage. They involve a lot of techniques that I'm not using today. This is specifically for the purpose of you stick your mags in there, you throw it in your truck, you're going to the range, open and close it on a constant, regular basis. So I'm about to go here in Lowe's and I'm going to take you guys along with me show you the very, very few items that I'm gonna get. I, I shouldn't even be spending 20 bucks on these items. And these items will last for a lot more than just one ammo can. So let's go ahead, let's go in, let's go take a look at the items that we're gonna get. Okay, so now we've got everything we need, and I'm on the long trip back to my dad's house. Once we get there, I'm going to take everything apart and show you step by step exactly how to do this project so that you can have your ammo cans range ready. Okay, so let's take a minute to go over the items that you will need in order to complete this project. First of all, you're going to, of course, need your ammo cans. Here I've got one that I use for 7.62x39. One for AR ammo, 223, and one strictly for 22s. You're gonna need some way to label your cans whenever you're finished. In this instance, I went to amazon.com and bought these labels. I'll leave a link in the description below that you can go buy. I think these were like six bucks for these labels here. It's not expensive and they fit perfect on these cans. In order to clean the cans, you're gonna need a little bit of acetone or paint thinner. One or the other will work. In this instance, I got acetone. I also picked up a few of these 3M scrubbing pads just to rough the surface up a little bit. That's not needed. I've done this in the past without those. That was just a little something extra I purchased. You're going to need to recover the ammo cans. In this instance, I bought Rust-Oleum flat finish paint. I'm going to do my large ones in black and the little one I'm going to try in the green. I always like mine black as you can see these here are actually black and not the green. But just for you guys, I'm going to try the green as well. Also, you're gonna need some Petro Jelly. It's a really good lubricant for this type of system. You've got a seal up there that you've got to make sure that you lubricate very, very well. And uh, that's gonna be the main point of your waterproof, water resistance in this project. And it's gonna keep that seal from drying out. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, make sure that these cans are empty. I know that sounds uh, juvenile, but if, I wouldn't say it if it hasn't happened before. So make sure that you empty out your cans. I'm gonna take this ammo, store them somewhere else for the time being. Then we're gonna get started on tearing these down and stripping them clean. Okay guys, so in this instance, this is my 762 by 39 can. I'm gonna take the acetone, put on it. You can see it's got some old grease marks and everything else on this thing. And all that's gonna be really bad trying to seal it up, 
and keep it clean. So I'm gonna put a lot of acetone on it, get all these old marks off this old paint, scrub it some with that, and then we'll come back and paint it after that. Okay, so once you've scrubbed this thing down with your abrasive, I'm going to take a uh, cloth, wipe the entire thing off with a little bit of this to clean it off. Then I'm gonna take a clean abrasive pad and re-scuff up the whole thing again to get, get it ready for paint. All right guys, so at this point, I'm gonna take my uh, Rust-Oleum satin finish, and I'm just gonna spray a light coat over it. Once that light coat dries, hit it with another coat, and maybe a third coat. But I uh, just wanna get it completely covered with an even coat. All right, now that I've got this completely covered on the outside, I did three to four coats. I'm gonna set it to the side, let it dry, and start working on the top. All right, guys, one thing to remember with the top is that on the underside of this, it has a rubber seal. This seal is important to the integrity of the container. It's what keeps all your water and debris out. So whenever we're cleaning this with the acetone, we wanna take as much caution as possible to keep this seal from getting into the acetone on it so it doesn't dry it out. Other than that, it's just like everything else, throw a little bit of liquid on it, scrub it up, and get all this old paint off. Messed up the table. Now we gotta clean it up. All right guys, so at this point we've got all three cans stripped down, cleaned up and repainted. As you can see on the small one that I used for my 22 ammo, I actually painted it back a army green and kept the lid black just for a little bit of contrast. Now we're gonna let these dry so we can get back to uh, lubing up the hinges and the seals. Okay guys, so at this point we're back home. We've got everything cleaned off. We've got about three or four coats of paint on it. It is completely dried and it is absolutely beautiful. Now, the task at hand is to take off the lid. We're gonna set it to the side for the time being. And this paint isn't completely cured so I still have to be a little bit careful with it, but it is dry. Um, that's what the old looked like. I didn't bother painting the bottom because obviously it's just gonna get messed up as you go along. But the sides are completely done. So at this point, you want to put some type of lubrication on the points that are gonna get contact and movement, which are these little bars right here. The best thing I found is petroleum jelly. So I take the back end of my multi-tool here. Let me open this up. 
This here is just uh, the file end, something flat. You can use a dull knife or a flathead screwdriver, anything of the nature. And I just dip it in here. And this has actually been sitting out in the sun all day, so it's a little warm, which makes it easier to work with. And I just go through and put a little bit on each of these little tabs here. Once again, it doesn't take a lot. Once you put that lid back on, it'll squish everything in there and it'll get to moving nicely. So now let's move on to the lid. Okay, so at this point, all I want to do is take the same method and put some of the petroleum jelly around here on this seal. What this does is it keeps the seal nice and lubricated. That way it doesn't dry out and it helps make a great seal around the top of the ammo can. Okay, now that we've got this seal nice and wet and lubed up with this Vaseline, we can go ahead and reinstall the top and put our decals on. Now, before I did this upgrade and put all this jelly on here, whenever I would open this, this would actually stay closed. You would have to physically Pry it open. Now, whenever you open it, it pops right back up. And that comes from having a well lubed seal and hinges. Let's move on to the decals. Okay, so as you saw from the beginning of the video, this was my 762 by 39 can. I'm going to use one sheet of stickers on here, four stickers total. I'm going to put one on each side, one on the front here, and one on the top here. Okay, you guys, so back here I've got the completed product, and up here I've got an example of what they used to look like. As you can see, they were dirty, nasty, lots of grease, old paint, and just generally horrible looking. They were an eyesore, and yeah, they worked, but they, they're just ugly. This here is the finished product. I've got two that are completely black, and... Uh, this one here, that's a combination of black and green. As, you, as I said, you know, I didn't like the green whenever I first sprayed it. It was a completely different color than the original Army Green. But uh, once I got the contrasting colors, I think they looked pretty good. Anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. This was a fun project for me and my dad to get together and have something to do. It makes these cans look completely different. Now whenever I go to the range, they won't be an eyesore like this one back here. And it'll be something beautiful and be able to be proud of, especially for the fact that I did it. Now as I said, I bought these decals off Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can go get you some as well. There's all different kinds. They have ones with the bullets with the caliber engraved inside the bullet. I opted just for these because I knew I was going with black and I wanted that black and gold contrast. I hope you guys take something from this and go ahead and clean up your own cans and get them range ready and looking good. Hope you guys have a good week. Peace out.